Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday to you. Thank you for joining us for 5 Minutes with Phil. And I pray that you're doing well. I uh, hope you had a good Valentine's Day yesterday or maybe over the weekend. And uh, you know what? It's kind of on that theme of love <laughs> that I want to talk today from the scriptures. Uh, we get a good... Um, we, we, we get a good bunch of scripture from John when it comes to uh, what the Bible has to say about God's love for us and what we're supposed to do with that. And I'd like to, uh, I'd like to share that with you today. Take a look at the screen. First John chapter 4, verses 9 through 12. Uh, great passage here. Here's what it says. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world, that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another... God lives in us, and his love is made complete in us. There's a lot there, okay? A lot, a lot of really, really great stuff, a lot of good truth there. And uh, let, me, uh, let me try to unpack some of this. Uh, first of all, we, you know, the word love is kind of tossed around quite a bit uh, in our culture, uh, right or wrong, uh, you know, we th that could be an, another discussion. But uh, uh, here's what we really need to remember is that uh, the, the love of God, the love of God is so, um, so profound and so incredible. And, and, and to, to the one that might feel a bit unloved today, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, um, hear this, hear me. And, and, and be reminded of this scripture that, again, it tells us that God showed his love among us. He sent his only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and he sent his son to us as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. That is the love of God. And and if, if you cannot, if you not finding yourself just dis, dis, being able to describe or experience any other kind of love, understand this. Understand this, that the love of God is amazing and it is unchanging. There is nothing you can do that can keep God's love from you. There is nothing that could take place that would cause God to love you less or for him to love you more. But what do we do with that, okay? It's one thing to feel loved. But then John goes on to say that since God loved us, we should love one another. Now, this is important because I'm convinced that the love that we show and demonstrate in our earthly relationships is a sign of of how much we recognize God's love for us. In other words, my love for, for example, for my wife, for my son, for my, my family, for my church, for my friends, the love that I give out and demonstrate to them is a reflection of how much love I acknowledge I'm receiving from the Father in sending his son for me. The more that I grasp this from God, the more I will be able to demonstrate love at this level to those that are around me. And today I wanna, I wanna challenge you with that. I want you to be challenged to number one, recognize and never forget the incredible love that God has for you. But then secondly, don't just linger there. Don't just stop there. Understand that now that you have experienced this love, there's a responsibility to share that love and demonstrate that love to the folks that are around you. 
And I want to challenge you with that word today. All right? God bless you. Thanks for joining me. Happy Tuesday. Have a good day. Bye-bye.